Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Cryptids and Monsters video. Thank you as always everybody for your suggestions as promised. I was going to start making some of the new videos this week starting today. Uh, especially with my internet up and running, everything good to go. I'll be able to start these videos and continue them throughout this week. And then it'll stretch into next week as well. Some pretty good suggestions, really good interesting stuff this time around. So if you don't see yours picked just yet, please keep on suggesting until I finish because even if it's a late entry later on, then I'll be able to squeeze it in at the last minute, especially if it's a very interesting one. So with regards to the cryptids and the suggestions that I'm picking again, the key is always originality. If it's a cryptid that's, let's say, tied in with more common type stuff like sea serpent type stuff or Bigfoot type stuff, uh, I'm not really going to go into those only because... Um, as fans of these videos, um, the reason why I still think these are a big success is because it's all about presenting cryptids and monsters that are original. Stuff that we haven't heard of before. Stuff that's not tied to more common folk stuff like um, anything involving Bigfoot. Any, like any, any of those type of cryptids. So please, please, if uh, you have anything like that that's very very original like the one I'm going to talk about here that's the stuff I look for and as always thank you for continuing to watch the videos and for your suggestions so again the reason I picked this particular cryptid the Shelly coat is because it remains one of the most original ones I have ever read I've never heard of this particular cryptid before but apparently it's out there it's especially in the areas in Scotland and Northern England it's out there um, it's its own version of a boogeyman over there and so presenting this to everyone here in the western world that's what I love doing on these things because it introduces everybody to these kind of cryptids that perhaps people haven't heard of before and especially when they're so really really original so so this particular cryptid the Shelly coat basically what it is is again it's their it's their version of the boogeyman so obviously the US has its own versions of the boogeyman uh, they are in Scotland and they're northern England. This one is their version. And the weird thing about the Shelly coat is that it's a boogeyman, but it's also a monster of some sorts. It's also been described as a fairy of some sorts. It's also been described as a goblin of some sorts. So it's a lot of things all at once. The reason why it's so many things is because to this day, apparently, it's still hard for people to get a hold of any concrete evidence associated with the Shelly Coat. Uh, but yet, even with so many people seeing the Shelly Coat but not producing evidence, it's pretty much taken on a life of its own over there. I mean, uh, doing the research that I did, apparently, it's been around for a long, long time. Uh, this is a creature of some sort that uh, essentially. Uh, does its own thing and it's been around for so long that again just like the urban legends and just like the um, cryptids that are here in the US that get passed down generation after generation this is that version over there so the reason why it's called a boogeyman is because apparently the Shelly coat is not necessarily a bad type of entity but it's not necessarily a good one either it falls under that gray category where it looks like it's just uh all it has is pretty much just is like a form of malice like it's not it's like a prankster of some sort but that's even calling it a prankster is kind of too light because considering what it tries to do it's not exactly out there um trying to do good things and this is essentially what the shelly code is basically it's a creature of some sort it could be a man um it could be uh something that looks like a man but it's a creature that um, is kind of hideous. Uh, it's not something that um, is good in terms of appearance. And it's covered itself, its entire body or most of its body, with a coat of shells. That's why it's called the Shelly Coat. Because essentially it wears these shells as a form of a coat. Why it does this, I don't know. Uh, none of the research indicated any plausible reason. Maybe it's pretty much just doing this um, as a form of cover to cover itself or maybe as a form of camouflage something along those lines uh, because whatever it hunts on whether it's fish or any other type of animal um, it's a perfect way of, ca of camouflaging itself in the areas that it frequents and the areas that they frequent is actually anything involving rivers and streams so it just pretty much lays in and around the areas there it can live in the water apparently and then it comes out every now and then 
to quote unquote prey on any unsuspecting humans that are out there. Again, it's not necessarily an evil type of entity. Uh, to my knowledge, it hasn't killed anybody um, directly, but indirectly, it certainly seems to try to do some bad things to people. So here's what it does. Um, essentially, if you try to walk around, let's say you're in Scotland and you come across your average river or your average stream and especially if let's say it's a misty type day uh, misty type morning um, you're walking around you're trying to make sure whether you're on horse or maybe you're driving around in a car that you're not getting uh, close to the edge and falling into the stream well this particular creature the shelly coat um, when it sees somebody do this it tries to trick people into let's say falling into the river itself or trying to, it's trying to trick it to do something other than reach its destination and the way it does this is whenever it sees somebody coming around it'll actually cry out as if it's drowning and it's the natural tendency of human beings whenever you hear somebody crying out for help especially uh, let's say you're crossing a again a river or a stream you'll be inclined to try to look immediately to try to assist well upon finding that nothing is there then um, it'll start laughing at you it'll start laughing because it tricked you it distracted you and it pretty much you know made a fool out of you at that point and the reason why um, it's also uh, known to be around those areas is because anytime you start hearing the click clack type noise of, of imagine a bunch of shells rustling together then you'll know this particular shelly coat is around maybe it hasn't found you yet but it's wandering around that area so but basically that's essentially that's what it does it tries to distract you in some way while you're trying to cross that area and the only reason I could think of why it's trying to distract you is it's trying to either make a fool out of you or in worse news it's trying to harm you in some way again not directly like directly throwing you into a river or throwing you under but it's at least trying to do something so that way um, if you're trying to come across that area and you're trying to be as careful as possible um, one simple slip and you either fall over and you're pretty much on your own when it comes to falling into the stream or the river or it tries to do something so that way you run into something hard um, again th th when you think about it this is a creature that is not out there to do good this is a creature that if you hear the again the distinctive sound of of the rustling of shells then it's something it's an area that you should stay away from at that point Again, no news with regards to the Shelly Coat um, doing anything else other than just trying to trick people into distracting them. But it does seem kind of eerie that the minute, like, let's say again, that that you look around, uh, you don't see anything, and then you kind of shrug to yourself, and then you hear like an evil type of laugh. You know, that's not good. Um, I would not be comfortable in an area like that. Uh, I would quickly try to walk away or drive away or whatever. Uh, from that area because it's 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 not good on that part imagine it's kinda like the uh, other cryptid that I talked about a couple of months back the genius Loki uh, look it up please whenever you have a chance um, because it's sim it ties into this it's it's a entity of some sort that is just in and around the area and the only purpose that it has is to try to I guess harm human beings in some way and that's all it does so if you ever again hear the distinctive sound of of the of let's say those shells clicking and clacking around all you have to do is just come back turn around or try to get as far distance as possible while still reaching the destination that you have on there so it's also been known apparently to mislead wanderers um, anybody that falls into its territory Again, you're trying to get into its destination. To your destination, you come across this particular creature's area. How it tries to mislead them, I don't know. There was no explanation on that. On that particular part, maybe it just tries to uh, create some noise somewhere, and that way you think, oh, okay, there's something there. There could be a bear. There could be a wolf. Something along those lines. And so you start turning another way, and then it starts creating noise on the other side. Um, all 
all the while you're starting to slowly get lost. Um, again, when you think about that, here's a creature again that could cause some severe harm. Not directly, but definitely indirectly, because if you're in a wooded area and, you, and your uh, life essentially depends on getting from point A to point B, and suddenly you're lost, you have no idea where you are thanks to this creature, and then you hear a laughter of it knowing that it's essentially uh, gotten you completely lost. Not a good thing. Not a very good thing at all to have something like this do this to you on there. So, pretty interesting stuff, again, when you think about it. Um, the Shelly Coat, not something that you want to come across, something that you definitely want to stay clear of. If you do, there is nothing that I read or the research that said what to do whenever you do come across this particular cryptid um, other than maybe you know put on some headphones or something like that because again the idea is that it's trying to distract you in some way and so if you're completely focused and you're not tuned in to whatever it's trying to do to mislead you to try to make you fall into the river anything like that then you'll be fine on there so again maybe a good set of headphones would do the trick just put on the music set it to a blaring noise level and then it's useless it, the shelly coat can't do anything to you unless it flat out harms you directly like jumps in front of you and does anything else along those lines so again um, very interesting cryptid what it is exactly is it a goblin is it a fairy? Is it a water spirit? Is it a, um, a monster of some sort? I don't know on that part. Um, if anyone has any further information associated with the Shelly Coat, please post your comments, share your thoughts below. Um, if anyone knows any specific examples of recent encounters, especially, uh, please you know place that on there. Uh, share them below because it'll be very very fascinating to see more information with regards to this. Nothing on the U.S. side that I can think of that mimics this particular cryptid. Um, I was trying to see if anything on the U.S. side comes even close, but no, no, nothing that I can think of on there. So again, this is why I picked this one because it's very very fascinating stuff. So, all right, thanks again everybody. Take care.